Where your boyfriend at? Augusta? Augusta. <laughs> oh, cuidado, man. Vai devagar, toma um drink. Só. <laughs> Okay, he said be careful when you go there and get a little drink and just this get it in it. Smells of Brazil. This is the guy right here? Hi, my stitch dance. I think so, I think so. I say aqui ó. 210. Como fala English? Okay. I'll go for that, I'll go for that. Considering the hospitality, the drinks, the filming, we'll we'll go for it. This, this yes. This yes, okay, okay. Uh, I want to see the the shoes. The, what, the shoes. Yeah. Bon, what's your number? Uh, I size 12 American. Aqui no Brasil 43, lá fora 45. Uh, 45, né? Eh? É, Brasil 43. É verdade, né? Ele falou 46, achei que era 46 para mim. Cá. Oh, I have LV, Louis V. Isso, Louis V. Okay. Nike's Nike with the Louis V logo Nike on it. Alright. Adidas. Uh, got, a, got a Adidas going on. Dolce Cabana, Dolce. Philippe Plain, Balmain. Okay, got some old Burberry. School. Okay, alright, alright. <laughs> The Burberry, alright. Okay, okay. Uh, I got the exchange right here. Not if bad. If you like someone, I have a model, my dear. But do you have like your shoes? I. Right. I take your number. And you find the shoes and you call me. You don't have the size here, huh? Ah, se eu não tivesse, se eu não, não tivesse tem nem... Ah, sim, também. Ah, ok. Alright. Você não tem, eles não têm o size for um, set. Ok, Ali, me desculpe, eles não têm o size 12 set over here, but just in case. Alright, ok. They got the slides and everything here too. Tem os ducks. Ok. Não, 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 eu vou walking around. Ah, Is it finished here? No more? Um, Marso de yeah. 20, 25 Marco, Marco, Isso. 25. Yeah. E finish? É, aqui tudo. Aqui tudo é. Não, aqui isso. Aqui e finish. Yeah. Ah. Viu? Acabou. Oh, Ele tá perguntando se tipo a 25 de março acaba aqui, né, senhor? É, então. Esse é ou não? Não, 25 de março here. And that's it. No mas. Okay. E aí, um, mercado municipal. Mercado municipal para lá. Para lá. Isso. E no camina. Straight, recto. Okay, okay. Thank you, thank you. All right. All right, boss. This guy wants to show me more shoes. Not like frutas no mercado, no. <laughs> okay. Don't eat fruits of Mercado. No good? Porque o porque se come graça depois muito caro. Oh, it w it can be expensive or what? Mm, much. It's mucho. Mucho. Ah, they said the mar the market you is. You eat it, you're. Cash, the boys. Ah, yeah. Ah. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Thank you. So I wanted to go to a market, uh, like a municipality, a market of municipality or something like that. And um, apparently they have fruits and everything you can try, but uh, if you eat, you, they're gonna overcharge you. I heard it was a very expensive tourist place uh, to go to, but it was an interesting place because it's beautiful. Let's see if we get there. Bingo. This guy right here is trapping hard, man. And uh, let me see if they have anything uh, worth getting here in terms of shoes. Normally, if I'm getting some type of shoes, it probably would be authentic, though. Shirts I'll deal with, but uh, shoes. Not really the the vibe. Okay, boss. No, no, no. Yo, I go, I go, I go. All right. Thank you. All right, guys. So, sometimes it pays to say uh, <laughs> yes. You never know what people are gonna drag you. <laughs> and uh, 
for the most part these guys here are just trying to make a, a sale or something so that's how it goes all right here we go what's up man you all right <laughs> i just remember there was a girl like sewing weave here so i want to see what she got going on here she was just like sewing the weave hello how are you i'm from uh, miami uh, I'm, a, I'm a travel youtuber and I think what you guys are doing here is really good mucho boy no I don't speak no Portuguese but I like to see how you do the weave can I see over there <laughs> you don't know talk to her talk to her talk to her oh, one second okay Okay, boss lady right here. I did, uh, took care of her. We're gonna see what's going on. Okay So currently she's making a wig guys um, to put on the hair uh, uh, Excuse me boss lady That's it? What's she making right here? It's it. Can I see? Come you making me work here. I work here. You, you, you. Come on, boss lady. This one? Okay, open for me. Open. Open for me. No, right you. <laughs> okay, open. Okay, right here. Oh, uh, help me. You, you the gravan. Who called you? Help me. Are you there, man? No. No, mira, 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 mira. No, mira. no, no. <laughs> okay, aquí. Okay. Y open it. A ver. Okay, you, you hold it. Huh? Okay. Right. So I got. I'm working here now, guys. So uh, I wanted to see what exactly they doing here with the weave. And oh, it. Como, como. Natural. Uh, I said natural. Yes. So this is natural hair, guys. Mm. Mm. Original. Mm. Da cabeça cortado. Quem? Quem? Cabeça da pessoa. Pero quem? Who? Who girl? What girl? Donde? Donde? Me, no. You don't know where they, they get the hair from? Yes. So girl. Ladies, man, this natural. Natural. Natural, natural, natural hair. Yes. yes. All right. Okay. Oh. Oh, look. Don't natural. Mm. Okay, baby. Here you go. Hold that for me. Wow, guys. All of this is natural hair. Wow. Hey. Pero donde? Uh, Cabelo brasileiro. This is hair, Brazilian uh, women hair, but where are they getting these hair from? You know I, I gotta figure it out. Let's get the translator started. All right. I already, I already know the ladies like, hold on Ace, make sure you get it right Ace. I got ya. But make sure you hit that like button. Like, I appreciate you Ace in the comment section. Cause you know, uh, ain't no uh, other traveler gonna make sure they, they take care of my ladies. Where do they find the hair? Who donates it? Well, let me not put donate. Let us say where they find the hair. Okay. Ooh, baby! Oh my God! Look at you! Woo! You look good! Woo! <laughs> I didn't know that she got this all this going on. What the heck? Oh, baby. Wow. Wow. <laughs> okay. You know you got to butter it up. Wow, baby. Wow, 
Okay, she says the hair was cut from the head of people just like me. So we can cut your hair and sell it only in the natural form cut from the head. Where do you find the people who want to do that? So the people come here and they'll ask for the hair to get cut and they'll cut it. Okay. And I guess they get a fee. How much for my hair? It's not to wrap. Natural. So it's, uh, I'll get a thousand real for this. So that could be around. Woo. So she said I get a uh, a thousand. So a thousand real is around two hundred two hundred bucks for this hair. Wow! Wow! Uh, uh, let's look for one of these longs here right here right, like this one right here uh, it's like a 16 inch maybe even longer than that um ponytail um quanto quanto 650. So 650 for that particular hair. But in, por qué mío más más caro? Why is mine more expensive? Que e esse para fazer cabeça toda tem que ser você ah. gastar. Oh, cabeça toda. Wow. Oh, okay. To to pretty much to get that much hair to really be all over the head. Wow, for that much. Okay, so basically, if you want it to be a whole wig, it's gonna cost you close to 2,000 reales. And for me, that's what she was quoting, the hair meaning like the whole the whole thing, if you want the whole thing or just a little bit of it. So mine's, uh, mine's is a little bit cheaper than her, or that hair right there in terms of the whole thing. Well, actually she probably would double the price on this one, meaning she gets, she pays a thousand for this and maybe she could pay, um, charge them 2,000 if they want it or 1,500. Mine's is especially, yeah, okay. One last question, we done, all right guys? Okay, one question, Mas. Okay. Okay. Where your boyfriend at? <laughs> I, I got to try, baby. I got to try. I got to. I gotta try. I gotta try. All right, guys. So we are back. Um, yeah, man. Uh, Homegirl is really nice. She gave me a, a couple of places I can go visit, and let's see what happens with that, man. And I can show you some more nightlife through her eyes. We got like a chili pan thing going right here, like a traditional Argentina bread. But this is Brazil. Do you like his peito de gato? That looks nice. It looks good. Okay. All right. Wow. How much? Ten. That. Yes. Ten. Ten. Okay. All right. Let me get one. 
Thank you, thank you, thank you. Get that bread a little nice and warm and cold. Ah, it's nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm from Miami. You speak English? Okay. A little bit? Okay. Hey, Mimo. Give me a little bit right there. What's your name? Carne? What's your name? Look at this. Uh-huh. All right, guys. Leave it at all. See how it tastes. We'll be back with this commercial break. Woo. Okay. Okay, yes, yes. Wow, guys, got a nice little... Got tomatoes, lettuce, it looks like there's some cilantro some up in there too, so it's gonna be really good. El caliente, what's that? Uh, pique? Okay, okay, lucky. Go ahead, go ahead, put it. Chili, chili. Chili? Okay. Okay. All right, all right, guys. Let's try this right here, okay. Mm. Really good. I wish the bread was a little bit more softer, but the, the flavor is on point. I don't know what type of chili that is, but uh, with the chopped up cilantro, of tomatoes, and everything. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. ah. Mm. You know they're gonna sell out. <laughs> it's really good. Mm. Good night, guys. I'm juice. Mm. Só aqui tem, pai. Só aqui. Na 
Dá 25 de mais. Melhor carrinho de São Paulo. Melhor... They pour water and some, uh, like a block of juice. And they tear it off. Let's go. All right. I like it. It's good. The chili is good. Oh. It's good. Yeah. Guys, this right here is good. So, you know, I know a lot of you guys are skeptical with street food, man. I mean, if the presentation is acceptable, guys, give it a chance. Give it a chance. I get, I get you, though. Chili on point. Go ahead, girl. Go ahead. Talk about, talk about. Get the sunball. You want one? You two? You want one? Come on. Okay. Aha. Aha. Okay. Aha. So I'm buying her one and I'm buying the other dude one. Lady too nice, she over there hanging out, chilling. Okay, that's us. Abrigada, abrigada. All right, pretty. Sometimes give yourself a chance in terms of meeting the people here. I was kind of nervous about connecting with the people here. Brazil, Brazil, Brazil. Brazil. <laughs> All right. I was a little bit nervous about meeting the people here, but they're really nice people. <laughs> I don't know, I know. All right. I might have some food in my mouth. I apologize. Anyways, I was a little bit uh, apprehensive about being here. Uh, I don't speak the language, but uh, I was able to make it work. Um, and the people here, they speak that u universal language, which is green. Miami, Miami. Ace, Ace. I say Ace. All right. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to see what's up with this market right here. What's up? What's up, player? Um, yeah, we're gonna see what's up with the, the market here and see if we could um, talk to somebody. They told me to go this way for the, manupre, the market of municipality. So let's see. Hopefully, we're going the right way. But I used to walk aimlessly around the streets of Vietnam, just showcasing the market there. And now we're <laughs> over here in Rio doing it. Oh man. Yeah, this uh this building just reminded me of that market one of the big markets i walked into ran just running around didn't know what i was doing at the time uh all right let's cross the street and get over run over so it's four o'clock so the market could be approaching closing time right now but we'll see what we can find it's like a two-story market hello what's up Good, good. Let's see what's going on here. We'll keep in mind what our friend said at the other spot, but here's the market right here. Okay. I guess this might be a popular tourist destination to come eat. Oh, it's way, it's way bigger than I thought. A lot more people here. So this is like a shrimp, deep shrimp, doughy uh, type of uh, um, pastel right here. Croquetas right here. Hello. All right. 
English. You speak English? So what is this right here? This is like shrimp, right? English, no. Oh, okay. I was no. hoping you spoke. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. So this is the common theme, displaying the same food. What not? All right. Ah, no, 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 I'm glad the guy wore me, like, hey, brother. that's how they get you, I guess, because you're going to feel, um, you no, no, I'm good, thanks, man, uh, I guess that's how you get you, because they try to warn me, like, don't, you know, eat the fruit, and then I can see how you'll eat it, and then you, you feel guilty about just walking away after you ate something, and then next thing you know, you got the cell pitch, and now you're buying over expensive, um, expensive fruit. Wow. Nice. So, so dried out seafood. Oh, my mom loves this type of seafood. Really nice. Good presentation, guys. Wow. Smells uh, interesting here. Smell, it smells like uh, al almonds <laughs> and fish. Wow, guys. Uh, wow. Really interesting uh, presentation on the the type of things you can find here. Wow. I can see why people would come and eat here then now. Uh, they, they do a good job with the presentation. I feel like I'm walking through uh, Italian uh, Corner Avenue or something like that. I, it's really interesting. Wow, this is the way that everything's set up and they really are promoting the way they have the sandwiches is here. I can see if you're gonna come visit um, Sao Paulo that you make a stop here most definitely. But I hear everything here is overpriced, okay? A couple people told me that before I showed up, but we're here for the experience. Wonder what they're doing up there, painting uh, the rooftop. More, more of the same though, a lot of the same. So I guess it just comes down to who do you wanna buy food from? Okay, they got the, I guess they're harmonizing the almonds right here. What's up, man? All right. What's that? Caramelizar. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, Car caramelizing. Um, putting the sugar in ball. All right. Okay. Uh, no, no fruit, no fruit, no fruit. No fruit. No fruit. <laughs> Why from Biggie Mike? I'm from, I'm from Miami. Miami. Huh? Miami, and we don't eat fruit. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> I think he understood when I told him we don't eat fruit from all those big guys that like I touched my belly too so they know what time I, it is with Ace. He's like that dude ain't been eating fruit in a minute. Actually I have started to pick up something but uh not nearly what I've been needing to. So we got some big shrimp out here guys. Oh uh, yeah. They do really good shrimp. Oh look at that. They got the langosta, they got the big lobsters right here, guys. I'm just checking out your lobster, Playboy. Alright. Alright. And then, checking out, guys. Sure. Sorry. 
They look like they're tied up. I'm not sure if they're alive. Nobody would be moving, right? Yeah, they're moving though, right? They're not moving like they need to. But yeah, got some crabs up in here. Do you see anything you like here? You got a big fish, man. Wow. Looks delicious. Oh, man. Huge. Huge. And this one's already been taken care of right here. Homegirl right here, wrapping it up, ready to go. Hello, what do you do here? You sell food? I don't speak English. All right, no problem. It's okay. That's a lot of sweets over here. Man, the, the collection is very impressive. collections right here. I've never seen one of these type of Oreos. Wow, they got the mixed chocolate type, man. Okay, I don't walk past every single thing and I'm tempted to try this. <laughs> oh, man. It looks good. So this is some type of chicken because I heard frango up in there and it has some other stuff in it. So it's warm. So I like that. <laughs> Miami. Miami. All right. And so like I'm ripping the skin apart. I mean, you can see it's like um, some type of chicken mixed with what looks like potato. Yeah, it's like a mashed potato type of in stuff. Crust. Mm. Very flavorful. Mm. There's not a lot of dough in it though. Mm. It reminds me of um, a chicken pot pie. Definitely made to fill you up though. I'm trying to save my stomach for later, but definitely really good. Actually guys, there is an upstairs here. Let's go check it out. Oh, this is how it looks from the top. More restaurants. I think this is where you'll find the, br the brunt of all the restaurants. We got a, one of these punchy machines here. Right. More displays. All right. Yeah. Definitely a really good place to sit down and eat. Yeah, on the second floor. All right. I can't help but wonder what they're doing. Painting or something. And oh, places to drink. Okay. Yeah, and today is Friday, guys, just to give you another perspective. Tomorrow there'll be way more people on the street right here. Way many way more all right i think we got it for this particular place right here how about we go searching for another place there is one place here not too far away where it's uh, a little contrast of what you see um here in terms of food and items to buy let's see if we can get there all right guys so we are on another side of town this is uh, more of a side where you might find more of the fluent Brazilians. Oh, Brazilians, I got a little bit of extra money in their pocket. Come to eat, enjoy food, and do a little more shopping. I'm actually staying in this neighborhood a little bit. Well, not this particular neighborhood, but maybe um, five, six, ten minute drive from this area right here. It's just a different contrast to what you might find in um, 
Brazil. I think this is my me to try rail right here. The metro. They have a subway system here. Um, yeah, and let's just walk down and see if we can get an idea of how this place looks. Uh, okay. Definitely less retail here. More nice housing here. Um, it is approaching six o'clock. This is the same day I filmed the, the market. It should be in the same video, but uh, I wanted to show you guys. But if it's not, I think it's in the same video. And yeah, it's a very progressive neighborhood. Um, you'll see during the daytime a lot of people um, eating food at some of these restaurants. <laughs> Look at this place right here. Looks like a fine dining, but it's a burger joint. It might be, no, it's a regular bur burger joint. Looks really, really nice. Wow. All right. And we have a local grocery store here. It just it goes to show you a different contrast when you you come in to this uh, city and what to expect. Uh, so you see a lot of people are on this road. I'm all I'm guessing they are heading to the Metro Rail. Um, catch the Metro. A lot of Brazilians they use that transportation to get around town. It's real fast. I actually went on the Metro Rail. It should be in another video. Um, but yeah. really calm neighborhood here i feel very comfortable in this particular neighborhood all right all right so you got a stores that sell fendi glasses all right yeah, the clothing stores. Uh, it's like a fragrance store right here. Alright. More uh, clothing. Wow. Really nice. And then, okay, more areas to sit down and eat. <laughs> cafe. Look at this. like a like a mall slash cafe booth area right here definitely different definitely different if I can uh, equate this to Mexico City and I hate doing it comparing but a lot of Palenco vibes here in this particular area right here I just would recommend it by Brazilians to come here to to film this area just to give a contrast because sometimes when foreigners come to a country you only see certain parts and and then people are like oh you didn't show the good part of the city we we really have a beautiful side of the city and so if Brazilian if you're watching let me know how I'm doing man I can't film everything but you know just understand it's a Calvin Klein store right here all right and there's a mall around here, man. This particular mall I did a live stream on Instagram. So most definitely, if you want to follow me on Instagram, same name, right? And pretty much that mall had all the high end uh, stores, like the ones we're passing here in this past Chanel. All right. It's like a Rodeo Drive of, I guess, of Mexico City. Uh? Uh, excuse me, not Mexico City, uh, of Re uh, Sao Paulo. All right. Hello. Uh, okay. All right. Got a casa people. Yeah. And it, like I said, it's uh, it's approaching six o'clock, so you can only imagine the amount of people was here a little bit earlier. It's a lot of people come out here and uh, do a little, little shopping in this particular area. It's really nice. See <laughs> clothing. All right. Very nice area right here, man. 
<laughs> um, as I mentioned, I, uh, I don't live too far away, but uh, this particular neighborhood and the surrounding areas has really grown on me, uh, per se. Um, really love it. If so, if maybe I end my video by showing you my neighborhood, or maybe I put that in. An, I'll put that in another video. Um, if this video can get us, if this video does really well and it's enough people leaving in the comments like, yo, show me where you live. If you type in, show me where you live in the video, I'll show you my Airbnb and maybe a little bit more of this area. Um, but it has really grown on me in terms of like a really nice uh, place to, sorry, uh, a really nice place to uh, just uh, move or her rest okay we keep passing these uh, really nice uh, uh retail stores you got here all right it's not bad really really amazing Next spots wow your new favorite shoes <laughs> Oh man, and as you can see, like every spot we go to, there's like this security guard just watching, say what, what's going on. And just to think about the neighborhood here, how quiet it is. Would you live in this particular neighborhood if you got the opportunity? Right? Wow. Jewelry stores, more glasses stores. Totally huge contrast to what we were we were seeing earlier and now I just want to mention although we went to like one of the biggest there are several more spots we could have went to shop man this street must be a woman's shoes dream if you love shoes ladies it's a good spot is for y'all look at this they just keep going wow <laughs> it's called john john let me see if I got a 10 foot on 80. I think I will end it here, guys. Wow, what a day. An eventful day. We did a lot of touring of the city. I got to show you lots of the city, but in percentage wise, I probably even I didn't probably didn't even show you one percent of the city. We didn't even go downtown. Um, there's a lot more to see. I didn't show you Paulista. Paulista is one of the best places to stay if you are coming to uh, this city. And yeah. Um, what are your thoughts? What do you want me to show you from the city? I'm not gonna be here that long. I think I'm gonna leave in a couple of days. But yeah, just let me know what you think about this city and this area, all the different areas. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, the city is really growing on me though. <laughs> I'd be lying to you if I told you I didn't consider this actually trying to figure out how to live here. Uh, I didn't put a lot of thought into it, but it did cross my mind. Uh, but yeah, man, I just want to say thank you for watching if you're new to my channel make sure you uh, If well first off if you're new to my channel and you like what you just watch hit that like button I would greatly appreciate that uh, For everyone who enjoyed the video hit that like button. I would greatly appreciate that and also um, Watch more videos for me man watch more videos and one will pop up around here watch it I greatly appreciate that and uh, hopefully I see you in the next video. And as a reminder, I'm going to be doing an adventure in this country. If you want to follow me on this adventure, most definitely subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. All right. See you in the next one, hopefully. All right. Yo. Beautiful place, ain't it?